What is up guys and gals, welcome back to Stanswitch and welcome to episode number 48 of my Factory Simulator playthrough. Um, last time we got a bunch of stuff set up over here. And before we go over there, we're going to grab this daily reward. Resets 12 hours. Nice reward is cash again, don't get any more crates sadly. Um, also sadly, I don't think any um, codes have been posted since the last video. It has been a few days since I posted and also I took these out because... I've been helping people, and so to avoid making a bunch of extra cash and kind of getting ahead over my videos are supposed to be, I kind of just took the conveyors out just to stop everything for now. And also, I do need to adjust something, and that is taking that away and putting a stack container. That's what people recommended that I do to speed up all this stuff over here because it was getting kind of clogged up and I wasn't getting apparently as much money, or nearly as much money as I should be getting. So. Let's put all these conveyors down, and then I think we're going to AFK here for a bit. We're going to check out this salt um, shard setup, and yeah, it does seem to be going a lot faster than it was going. So we're probably going to leave it as that, and then just AFK till we have the three undecillion required to purchase the... Where is it? I'm blind. The duction smelter, and then once we're back with that, we'll place that and maybe wait for the smelter and then start using that. But for now, I'm just going to AFK and I'll be back in a bit um, when I have enough money. So, peace out for now. Well guys and gals, we are back for now. We have enough money. We have the one undersillion we need. So let's go ahead and buy that induction smelter. Just got a free cobalt mine as well, and plus 80 decillion, which isn't a lot, but it's something. So we're gonna place that bad boy down. Face in the right direction, of course, and then another cell zone, and that'll help a lot. We're gonna see that increase by quite a bit, hopefully. And while we're over here, we're going to move the zinc mine over to the other side, if I can find it, that'd be really cool. I'm currently blind, there it is. Put that right there, and rotate that, and then, there we go. We have that set up. Our money hasn't increased a lot yet, I guess it might increase more, but it definitely should be going up, considering, yeah, there we go, there's the increase. It's finally kind of averaging out all the money we're making so that's nice to see um and now we're gonna wait until what's it called we get the smelter and then we're gonna set up some filters and get all that working and that'll probably be the video it might be a bit shorter just because of the nature of just having to wait around a bunch and then yeah once that's up we're gonna be making a lot more money that helps a lot um because the induction smelter currently is kind of just doubling, but then when you get the actual smelter, it almost, it actually kind of triples it depending on what you're putting in, but considering these two things together are 2.9 um, decillion apiece, then this goes to 9 decillion, this one is a straight up over 9 times increase, it might even be for these three, for these two as well, sorry, for I guess all three, but we'll see when we get there, but just going to wait again for 5 on decillion, so a little less than half of what we or a little less than double what we just had to wait for, but it should take, you know, half as long technically to get to the same amount we just had, um, and then a little bit more beyond that, if that makes sense. So technically kind of should take the exact same amount of time that it took for the last thing. Granted, we already had 600 decillion in the bank, but I hope y'all understand what I mean. But I'll see you in a bit, so peace out once more, and I'll resume it um, once we have enough money. So yeah.
Well guys and gals, we are back once again, so we are going to go and buy that smelter, so there we go, we got the smelter, and during the first kind of period of waiting, I was going to the index, and I was looking at the smelter, and definitely makes sense to make the magnet, and so we do have the most samarium ingots, or mines, and cobalt mines, so that's what we're going to be doing here, so we're going to stop this real quick. We are going to be putting a straight conveyor right here with a filter on it. We're going to want one direction to be cobalt, one to be samarium. Perfect, perfect. We're going to throw, actually we're going to get rid of that because we want to kind of use as much space as we can or save as much space as we can. So that's going to go right there. The rest, everything else is going to be sold. We're going to put that smelter over here. Hmm. Hmm, where should we do this? Our setup isn't exactly the best, but we'll make it work. I think something like this could work. I'm gonna just put it right there. Um, splitter container right there, one right there, one right there. There we go. Let's bring this to its destination. This one we need right over as well. Take a left turn. We need a few um, short conveyors. There's that one. And that should start making magnets. So we're just going to throw a cell zone right here. And there's our magnets. That's a lot of money. Let's go. Um. Hmm, how much is buying an advanced Samarium mine? That is expensive. How about just buying a straight up Samarium mine? 101 decillion. How much money do I have? No, wrong. Where is it? 100? Hmm, should I do it? Because we are short on Samarium by quite a bit, which definitely stinks. Also, one thing I could do is this. Not that, actually. But, where is it? No. There we go, that's what we wanted. I just do that left turn, but I'm just trying to minimize how much, I guess, space is in between everything. Just with shorter travel times. And then all this stuff's going to get sold. There we go. We have a random piece of, I don't know, is that Samarium? Yeah, that is. Um, but yeah, we definitely need to up our Samarium and put to match our Cobalt, I guess, if we want that thing to be max efficiency and so jeez mm, what is the move I mean it's already making quite a bit of money but it's not making nearly as many as it could be is the thing so yeah we're gonna delete these for now we're going to purchase oh already had some that I never put down apparently that's pretty cool not really obviously that definitely stinks that I was just Wasting uh, space, I guess, kind of, or wasting money in the fact that um, I just wasn't using them. <laughs> and then, am I missing something? It's nickel, there it is. I was like, I'm missing something. I know that for sure, 100%. Straight conveyor right there. Put these bad boys down. I'm glad I didn't need like turns, you know, just like goes through stuff. But let's see if that helps any as far as the Samaria mines. Hopefully, it does. I think it'll completely balance it out, um, just because, well it might balance it out, but this is always going to be having more just because I got a legendary cobalt mine, which definitely helps a lot, but we are making money quite quickly now, um, double what we were making earlier, it isn't close to a magnet a second though, which definitely sinks, that would be the, uh, the prime amount wanted. I wonder if I could just keep just throwing in ore. The only thing is, Samarium doesn't mix with anything except Cobalt. 
but yeah, it's like it'd be nice if I could just put everything in and then whatever's made is made, but I'm pretty sure just get clogged up if I try to do that. And so sadly I can't really just do that. So this is gonna be our setup for now. What I'm gonna do actually is put this right here so we can sell the extra because there is quite a bit extra, honestly. And so I feel like even with this setup, we might be getting a 1 to 1 ratio. Actually, it is going down. F it is going down, but that's just. Mm. Yeah, it's not able to keep up completely with the cobalt. So, but once it hits a lower amount, I'm gonna, you know. What's it called? Sell this, and then. Or sell the cell plot, delete it for now, and then. We'll balance out how much cobalt and smerium is going in, but making a lot more money than we were earlier it does seem to have actually balanced out to be triple what we were making earlier, so making money quite quickly. And our next machine that we're going to get next episode is going to be the extruder. The extruder, let's see what that bad boy does. Um, magnet goes to a magnetic coil. Wow, so it's definitely worth getting the magnet so you get that <laughs> huge increase because the zinc nickel alloy only goes up to 17 decillion, but Magnet goes up to that. That's like, what, eight times almost? Eight times increase in price, so yeah. Um, that is our new setup for now. Um, definitely making us a lot of money, which we'd like to see. This average down here seems to be going up as well. It also helps because I think I'm selling these things and that's what's boosting it a lot, honestly. But we're gonna sell this here in a second. And yeah, um, probably do it now just so we have a little bit excess cobalt, but hopefully I'll enjoy that episode. Like I said, sadly, there weren't any codes or anything to uh, get free crates or anything. Hopefully y'all's daily reward though is free crates. That'd be really nice um, to get, but also um, thank you so much guys again for a thousand. We're finally monetized as making this video. Um, I've currently made, or my estimated revenue at least is a dollar and 77 cents. So, you know, that's amazing. That's, you know, way more than the zero dollars making before. So really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I put that poll out to ask y'all's opinion on starting ads. And I think at 101 votes, it was like 80%, if not more, um, said yes. Um, and then the no versus I don't care category is about the same percentage. So I started them yesterday or you know like two or three days ago I also haven't posted just because um, I've just been busy and so sorry about that but posting today hopefully I don't know how long it's gonna take to upload this but yeah hopefully you all enjoyed though um, if you have any comments or anything any concerns any ideas anything like that that nature just put it down in the comments or DM me on discord or send me an email if you really want to I think my emails in my channel description and then yeah that's it so hopefully you enjoyed that and i'll catch you next time so peace out